Whoa, this one looks a bit crazy. It's really not. Whenever you're doing anything with thirds, always remember to simplify the thirds before you're doing anything else. And so for this, what we're going to do is simplify this third and then simplify this third. We can write this as 5 times the square root of, now 48, this is equal to or is the same as 16 times 3, where 16 is the biggest square factor. And so this is going to be all over 6, and then we've got plus 2 times. Now 147, this is the same as 49 times 3, where 49 is the biggest square factor, and this is going to be all over 3. From here, the square root of 16 is equal to 4, and we're going to multiply this by the 5, and so 5 times 4, this is going to be 20, and then we've got the root 3 over 6, plus the square root of 49, this is going to be 7, and so we're going to multiply 7 by the 2, that's outside, this is going to be 14, and then we've got root 3 all over 3. From here, we can simplify the first fraction, 2 goes into this, 3 times, into this, 10 times. Now we've got the same denominators, and so we can add the numerators, and so we've got 10 plus 14, which is equal to 24, then we've got the root 3 all over 3. Another thing you have to remember is that you always have to simplify fractions when you can. And so looking at this, we can see that 3 goes into self once, into 24, 8 times, and so simplifying this, this is equal to 8 times root 3. Now if this was too much for you, then get yourself a copy of this Algebra for Beginners book, because it starts off with the basics and it slowly builds up on each topic, so when you come up to these questions, you'll have no problem answering them.